In today's rapidly changing world, financial advice often takes diverse forms, and the perspectives of successful entrepreneurs like Grant Cardone, Gary Vaynerchuk, and Robert Kiyosaki offer valuable insights. In this channel, Invest Avenue, we explore the unconventional approach of putting money into personal branding and marketing instead of investing in a house. The creators advocate for prioritizing self-improvement and business development to achieve financial success. Let's delve into their viewpoints and understand why they believe that investing in oneself and promoting personal brand is key to building wealth. 76% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. 64% of Americans that have businesses break even or lose money. Most people are, don't have any money and have accepted the fact that they don't have any money. They don't have any leftover money. They're fearful of money costly. They overspend. They don't know how to produce money. They definitely don't know how to multiply it. The, the land of the brave and the home of the free, it, it's not even close to the truth. It's just important for people to understand that complaining has no value. And if you complain about not having enough money, work more. If you complain about not having work-life balance, spend more time on vacationing in your family. It's super simple. Let your actions dictate instead of sitting there and feeling like you're not in control. Poor people say, I can't afford it, I can't do that, I don't have time. It's an escape, you know what I mean? It's easy to say, I can't afford it. Oh, I'm too tired. Oh, I can't go to the gym. You know, when, you, when you could go to the gym, no, I can't. The truth is, I'm just too lazy to go to the gym. Money doesn't have value, right? And this is an important thing that most people don't immediately understand, is that money itself doesn't have value. Money is, is a vector for transmitting value. It's how you express value. But the value isn't in the money. It's in the product or service you bought with it. And it's in the labor you gave in order to acquire it in the first place. That's where the value comes from. There's nothing intrinsically valuable in the money. You shouldn't put money in a house. You should put money in your brand. You should put money in the marketing. You should promote yourself, not put money in where you and the kids live. Right. Why is that a mistake? Because it's dead money. I mean, it's, it, it, it can't, a house can't make you money. A house does not make you money. The only reason people think a house makes them money is they're comparing it to if I rent, that costs me money. But, you know, if you need to go to a hospital, you don't buy the hospital. You rent a bit. To get out of there as fast as you can. If you go on a trip, you go to America and you want to go to Disneyland, you don't buy the hotel. You rent a room. And nobody thinks bad, poorly of that. They're like, yeah, I'm going to go there, use the place and get out. That's what you should be doing with your living. Find a place where you can rent. Rent, rent, pay rent monthly. Don't own the house. And take all the money that you would have put in that house purchase, down payment, extra money, fixing it up. Use all that money to improve your business and yourself so that you can get more money. Right? So I see so many people here like, I'm going to invest 300,000 pounds in a house to hopefully make $30,000. 30,000 pounds. I'm going to make, I'm going to buy it for 300. I'll, maybe I'll sell it for 600,000. I'll double my money. Fixed in one place, by the way, where no money comes to you. Money does not go to homes. Right. And that's big, a big thing on your career is moving locations. Yeah. I've moved five or six times. I can move another four or five times. Because people who stay in the same place get too comfortable. If you study wealthy people, they're mercurial. They're moving. They're mobile. They're not, they're not talking. Warren Buffett and Bill Gates do not talk about the home they live in. They talk about the places they're going to. They go meet money. They go meet wealth. They go meet connections. People are stunningly accepting of anything if they actually believe that's the purest form of it. I think I'd be less acceptable if I hedged. I really do. People will accept you. People will accept everything. Just be you. Be you and Clearly people like react when you're trying to fake something and you've got bad intent, well then that's visceral and we hate. But I actually think we, we, we don't give love to the person that actually knows they have it and they're trying to fake it to conform. Hence why I won't adjust to this market all the way because I don't think I'll be respected. I know what my intent is, so why would I be scared? I want to build the biggest building in town. That's who I am. And you know how I want to do that? By building the biggest building in town. And a lot of people want to build the biggest building in town. And you know how they want to do it? 
by tearing everybody else's building down. Poverty is passed on. It's taught in your families. And middle class is taught in families. And so the people right now who are sitting at home <clears throat> who are struggling financially or worried about money or unhappy, they may be making a lot of money, but unhappy with what they're doing, it was probably taught to you. You know, your super ego was taught, get a job, work hard, or you'll, or you'll never be rich, or the rich are evil, or whatever. And until you change your mindset, Correct. money won't help you, right? Correct. And we see that with people that win the lottery, people that make more money, they still have the same problem. Right. Because they have that poor man's soul. Right. If you're poor, you'll always be poor. That's really hard for people to understand. Yeah, the money will disappear that fast. Just like most pro athletes, you know, they make millions of dollars and what, 65% are bankrupt five years later? It's because they come from poor families. Now you tell them that, they get very angry at you. It's not, it's the rich fault. You know, it's you guys ripped me off and government ripped me off. But unfortunately, what Mr. Lipton was saying, it's passed down genetically. That's the frightening thing. And it's interesting when you commit to something, little gifts just start automatically showing up. It's a phenomenal thing. It's happened my whole career. When I fully commit, somebody will bring me something. Okay. And then look, then keep your eyes open. And by the way, the package may come wrapped in a package you weren't thinking about. Hard work. Or like a voice or like a person or, a, 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 you know, maybe from a different direction than you thought or an offering where you're like, you read something about this and that's not the thing. Like all throughout my career, it's come in weird kind of ways. If you ask for help and, and, and somebody shows up at the door, may, maybe let, invite them in, okay. regardless of what the packaging is or what you've heard about it or whatever. That's really been beneficial to me. Okay. How old are you? 44. Think of, I'm 40. Do you know how young we feel? It's, when you yeah. were 26, did you ever think that this is what 44 felt like? No. You thought that that was finished? Yeah. How old are you? Like, you think a 40 year old, like, when I was 25 years old, I thought a 40 year old was finished. I don't even feel like I'm starting. Right? Yeah, but when I was 26, I was in a rush. I understand. And all of those guys and girls on the streets last night, they, when you say that to them, like their face kind of goes blank because all the stuff they watch, MTV, music videos, this, it's all about the bling now and the this now and the this now. You know, and, and MTV is tame. You start following people on Instagram and it's a disaster. They're all pushing like, you know, it's all about champagne and private planes and you can get it too and just sign up for my court. Like, and everybody's falling for it. So I'm coming out and I, first of all, I want to be historically correct. Nobody in a hundred years is going to watch that video and say that I was full of crap. I like that, right? Number two, I, I want my legend to grow. I'm always fascinated by politicians and world figures. Like Winston Churchill, his brain continues to grow, right? I want that. When I'm dead, I want to be in the ground at peace knowing my legend's growing. Like I want that. I want that in the business world. And so I'm giving real advice and real advice looks like this. When you're 19 and you can spend seven full years learning your craft, meeting people that are mentors, being patient, and you wake up and you're 26 years old, you have your entire life in front of you and you've done great foundational work to go on and then be successful. You know, I have bad luck too. I've, I've, I've had f financial crashes. I've had people stab me in the back, but they're all good because I grow from it. That's spirituality. Right? You know, people who are afraid of making mistakes like they teach in school, they don't ever grow because spirituality is there's good and there's bad. There's right and there's wrong. There's up and there's down. Most people only want to be right. They only want to be positive. Well, you can't have that. That's not reality. And the average person, the reason they're poor is they haven't failed. You know, they play it so safe. They haven't made any mistakes like they taught in school. That means they don't learn anything. That's why the school system's actually fundamentally corrupt. It's anti-education. Right? Don't make mistakes and don't ask for help. And if I didn't ask for help, I have my accountants, my attorneys, my bankers and all that. You know, I go into business like a rugby team. You know, boom, boom, and we kick butt. 
But the average guy is standing there, oh, I'm an A student, I'm, gonna, I'm going to do this all on myself. And a, and a bunch of rugby players run you over and you go, well, they're not playing fair. Yeah, you know what, you're not, you're playing stupid. You should have a team. You should have accountants, attorneys, and bankers and all that stuff. But that's not the game I want to play. I said, then don't play the game. You know, the, the game of business is played with accountants, attorneys, bankers, I hate to say it, politicians. You know, you got to know the game. Like, I don't want to hustle. I want to, I want to prosper. I don't want to grind. I want to create a machine that monetizes. You know, I'm not shameful of money. I want money. I want a lot of money. I want to give money away. I want to raise a lot of money. You can't do that if you're broke. The Invest Avenue channel presents a thought-provoking perspective on wealth building by focusing on self-improvement, marketing, and personal branding. Grant Cardone, Gary Vaynerchuk, and Robert Kiyosaki emphasize that putting money into a house may not be the most effective way to grow wealth. Instead, they encourage viewers to invest in their businesses and themselves, enabling them to create opportunities and open doors to success. By adopting a proactive, entrepreneurial mindset and embracing change, individuals can position themselves for long-term financial prosperity and growth. Remember, the road to financial freedom requires constant learning, adaptation, and dedication to self-improvement.